So here we are with a little, uh, with a small delegation of ENCOT on the CND meeting in Vienna. And we have been trying all day to speak with governmental delegates to see, uh, to hear from them what is their conclusion after we have seen that the European Commission last year produced a report that very clearly says the war on drugs is not effective, repressive policies have had no impact whatsoever, they are probably counterproductive, make things worse. Well, then we need to know from these uh, governments what is their conclusion, what is their, um, their lesson from this report, and what is the debate in their country. Are we going towards another drug policy? Do we take these lessons serious? Or uh, do we just ignore them? Do we just go on like nothing happens? There, is, there are not really a big debate on, uh, about that. There, there are some pushing uh, parties, uh, but in terms of our internal political, uh, political framework, there's no debate at the moment. Because I think the general feeling is things are going quite well how they are. So, uh, like in a football team, if if you are winning, you don't you don't change. Anything, no? Bolivia, siendo un país tercer mundista, un país subdesarrollado, pues todavía no estamos a la altura de los países industrializados o de los países ricos eh, del mundo en en analizar discutir o poner en la mesa de discusión el tema, por ejemplo, de la legalización o la permisividad para uso-consumo. Nosotros creemos que hay que superar el paradigma tan extendido, por lo menos en nuestro hemisferio, del concepto de guerra de las drogas. No es una guerra, no es un conflicto bélico, es un fenómeno social complejo que hay que abordarlo en las distintas dimensiones, pero los... Los aspectos centrales creo que tienen que estar en qué opción política de política criminal este, vamos a adherir y eh, qué mecanismo de desarrollo social humano des desarrollamos en el sentido de inclusión social. There are different, uh, different uh, backgrounds and different, uh, as you can say, uh, cultures in different societies. Uh, we, we believe in what we call uh, zero tolerance. We, we need uh, the problem to be completely controlled rather than uh, to live with the problem uh, in order to uh, uh, reduce the uh, side effects so that uh, uh, you, you, uh, you can at, at one point reach to the legalization of the abuse of these substances. In the case that other countries, like for instance in Europe or in America, where there is a discussion at the moment on legalizing cannabis for uh, all uses, uh, in California there will be a referendum later this year. Imagine that that would happen, that other countries would start to really to legalize the production, the distribution. Would that be of influence in the, in the, in the debate in Sudan? Of course, uh, usually, in most of the cases, all the substances, um, everything that is controlled by the international conventions will be under control of the national legislations. But things that uh, are not uh, controlled and uh, the, the, uh, for example, uh, the, the, you can you can see in some countries some substances are not prohibited and their uh, consumption is not controlled uh, by law. Uh, such uh, substances may be controlled and they may be uh, they may be strictly prohibited in another uh, uh, societies. For example, alcohol. Yeah, we could find in our. Power in our government, the open, uh, open is quite uh, open-minded to other solutions. But uh, evidence, I think, is not uh, yet uh, leading to uh, changes uh, at our present framework. But if in a, in a more enlarged uh, consensus in the 
in terms of the European Union, we decided to do something else, a further step, I think we, we could find in Portugal uh, a good uh, response to, to that. Perseguir consumidores, como dije en la intervención, es ineficaz, es ineficiente y lesiona derechos, derechos humanos. E incorpora una dimensión represiva que no permite desplegar las herramientas de salud pública necesarias para, para este tema. Naciones Unidas pues no es que para condenar o definitivamente liberar. Porque la gran pregunta es... Si se penaliza la hoja de coca, ¿por qué hasta ahora se utilizan las hojas de coca para Coca-Cola? Que sea correcto, que sea, que aplique, bueno, si quiere realmente quiere aplicar las resoluciones de Naciones Unidas, pero se debe medir, no con la misma vara, pero todos por igual. Para unos es permisible, para otros es realmente radical. Esta situación para Bolivia... Eh, de antemano reiteramos, respetamos como organismo internacional, respetamos de que debe haber en el mundo entero organismos como Naciones Unidas, el que en concertación, con diálogo, eh, corregir o implementar políticas públicas, pero también de imposición jamás. Spain, um, France, uh, the Netherlands, uh, Norway, Finland, Croatia, Czech Republic, Slovak, Hungary uh, uh, were all uh, willing to speak uh, uh, normally but not willing to speak on camera and it was very clear that all the answers that uh, delegates come with are uh, directed into we are afraid to speak out. We are just afraid to speak with you because what will the people who are politically responsible for this say afterwards? And there you see very clearly that uh, people come here in Vienna to speak about uh, an international approach to drug policy and, in, 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 and confirm uh, affirm that there is some kind of an international consensus on this, but it's very clear that each country has its own policy, and, it's, and that policy differs very much from the general consensus that there is here. Y yo quisiera ser optimista en el sentido de que se abren algunas puertas dentro del gran, de la gran hegemonía que tiene el, la concepción abstencionista y represiva. Eh, voy a poner un ejemplo, el discurso y las, los textos de declaración que ha presentado Estados Unidos en esta, en esta sesión, yo creo que no son igual que antes, tienen una pequeña diferencia. ¿Eso quiere decir que tenemos que salir a, a festejar? No, pero yo creo que la lucha que han hecho muchas ONG, muchos países en torno a la apertura de otras posibilidades y a una valoración crítica, creo que muy espaciosamente se están abriendo espacios.